हेलो स्टूडेंट्स सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व प्रैक्टिस सेट नाइन बट बिफोर दैट आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन हाउ टू डिवाइड नंबर्स गोइंग बैक टू आर सिक्स स्टैंडर्ड येस वी लर्न डिविजन ऑफ फ्रैक्शन रिमेंबर सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग आर प्रैक्टिस सेट वी विल बी सींग टू एग्जाम्पल बिकॉज द आंसर विच वी आर गोइंग टू गेट इन प्रैक्टिस सेट आर इन फॉर्म ऑफ फ्रैक्शन एंड नॉट अ प्रॉपर नंबर so no, i am not going to start directly that's why i am giving you two examples here first is 100 divided by 60 so we are going to write 100 in numerator and 60 in denominator now remember that whenever we have to divide a fraction we can there are two methods you can divide in this way right or simply what we can do is we can Cancel one one zero. Now the number which remain here is ten upon six. Now ten upon six. What is the same divisor of ten and six? We do not have to divide ten from separate number and six from another number. Whenever we are dividing fraction, we have to see that both numbers are divided or both numbers are cancelled from same number so 10 and 6 comes in which same table so yeah 10 and 6 comes in two table so 2 i am cutting 10 so 2 how many times is 10 so 2 fives are 10 2 how many times is 6 so 2 threes are 6 Answer here is five upon three. Now during cancellation, again I am going to tell you one more thing. Usually, few of kids make mistake here that yeah they know that ten and six are going to be divided by two only. So in a hurry, what they do? They do two ten. So two tens are twenty. They write. Two six are twelve. They write so this is not correct. This is wrong. We are dividing. So in division, what is happening? Numbers are getting reduced. Remember, in division, numbers are getting reduced, right? So this twenty and twelve is not correct answer. We are reducing it. See, from ten to six, it has been reduced to five and three. So keep this in mind. This part, okay, and this one. Next example twenty eight upon sixteen. So twenty eight numerator, sixteen denominator. Now whenever you are solving ahead, put a equal to sign. Now twenty eight and sixteen comes in with same table. Ah, uh, for my recall, it comes in four table. So four how many times? So we will recite four table. Yes, four seven times. Four sevens are twenty eight. And four fours are sixty, so your answer is seven upon four. Now seven and four comes in one table, so this is our final answer. Now we will start with practice set nine. First question is minus ninety six divided by sixteen. So I am going to write your minus ninety six divided by sixteen. So minus ninety six and sixteen comes in which table? So yes, both these number comes in sixteen table. Now ignoring the sign, we are just going to see to the number first. In final answer, we will be considering the signs. Fine. So sixteen how many times? One time sixteen ones are sixteen. Sixteen six are ninety six. So what we get is minus six upon one. So this minus six upon one we can write as minus six. Okay. Next, ninety eight divided by negative twenty eight. Ninety eight in numerator, negative twenty eight in denominator. Now remember the very first thing is negative sign we never write in denominator. Remember this negative sign we never write in denominator. So whatever will be our final answer, we will be writing negative sign in numerator. 
here again negative positive that's why our final answer is in negative again positive negative so that's why our final answer will be negative yes so first let us see the cancellation part 98 and 28 both this number is divisible by 14 yes so 14 twos are and 14 yes can you all tell me how many times 14 yes 14 sevens are so 7 upon 2 now negative sign is there because positive negative our final answer will be having negative number so never write negative sign in denominator so i am putting negative sign in numerator now this is our final answer we cannot divide 7 upon 2 further next negative 51 divided by 68 so 51 and 68 goes in which table yeah 17 table so 17 threes are 17 fours are 3 upon 4 negative positive so our answer is negative we cannot divide this further so minus 3 upon 4 next 38 divided by minus 57 38 upon negative 57 again 19 stable 19 how many times 19 twos are 19 threes are so our answer is 2 upon 3 now remember we are dividing so see numbers are getting reduced i hope you you will consider that previous part that in division numbers are getting reduced. So this cutting part will be easier for you to remember. Now negative sign is in denominator so I am writing in numerator. Again 2 upon 3 cannot be divided further. Next negative 85 divided by 20. Now this is easy because we can see the units place. So yes, it is divided by 5. So 5 fours are and 5 how many times you all know? Okay, since this is a bigger number what we can do? We can do a rough work here. 5, 5 ones are 5. 5 sevens are 35. So 17. 17 upon 4 negative positive gives negative La, uh, next negative 150 divided by negative 25 so 150 and 25 this goes in which table okay if i start with smaller number yeah both are divided by 5 so 5 5s are 5 3s are 15 right 5 3s are 15 and one more 0 so this gives 30 upon 5 now see this negative negative so negative negative answer is positive so for positive if i am not writing here positive sign that is also okay so 30 divided by 5 our final answer is 6 simple division last sum for the day 100 divided by 60 oh we did this for our example 0 0 cut 10 by 6 2 5s are 2 3s are again positive positive answer is positive Next sum will solve in next class.